up everybody today I'm going to be giving you a little tutorial giving you I mean that's a mix of giving and showing you how to use iMovie to edit any gameplay footage you have whether it be a commentary or a montage just simple stuff like that um, montage stuff I don't recommend using just iMovie you can take it in After Effects or something like that after you've started in here though it's a very good start it's also perfect if you just want to do a daytage or something like that it's very quick and easy so I use ITV to record my programs with my HD PVR and you're just gonna right click and export it and you're gonna get a photo like this you can change the format I would leave it in H.264 encoding and pick your file pick your name hit save. I've already saved it and exported it just to save time because some longer videos can take a little bit of time. And then after that you're going to open up iMovie. It's a really easy process to open it. You just go like this. Oh man, that was kind of difficult. And um, so this is the general project I've got going on so far. And two, I'll just take all this and delete it and um, to bring footage in you're going to go to file import movies and you're going to find that movie and it was right there but I move my files when I create events but you would just create an event and I would say that would be the name of it and you would just choose your file and choose import but I did it already to save time so here's my footage through here um, all you have to do to import it, don't import it yet. If you have intros and stuff, do that first. I've got my intro here, and I'm just going to drag and drop it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the song in with it. I'm changing my song and going with something a little different than I had last time, which was all the right moves. I'm going with Dead Mouse Ghosts and stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and add a transition fade to black. This is how I start out basically every video I do. And I trim that closer to that. Next tip, I take the duration of that, of the transition up to about one. And I also adjust the audio for a manual fade out around 1.2, 1.3, anywhere around there, just depends on the song and how it goes. Next, you're going to go back to your commentary, and you're going to choose where it starts, which is right here, and you're just going to drag it until the end, and I will try to actually drag this time. There we go. And I'm going to find where the game ends, because this is a commentary of a Call of Duty Classic game I had, and I'll just do it to there. Makes it simple. Drag and drop and you've got your footage um, next stuff wow didn't mean to do that I made that a little short okay now that that's sorted out you can go to clip adjustments and you can do stuff in slow motion things like that it is the most stable slow motion I've used I don't like after effects it just seems clumsy to me and the options the smooth special effects can add some distortion to it depending on your footage um, you can add some video effects in, some cool things, like flipped, and then all of a sudden, hit <laughs> guns, he's shooting with his left hand. I mean, can look kind of cool sometimes, but I mean, overall, you aren't going to use some of these. Some of these are going to be really nice, like a vignette, if you can get the settings right. Um, the romantic one looks kind of nice. It helps bring focus to certain things. Um, other than that, it just depends and then I go to video adjustments I'm gonna go somewhere around here in my footage and I'll just go ahead and hit auto and you can see it help to get the footage at a good level um, I'm gonna work on this myself a little bit so you can see what each slider does um, I, it was a little bright and needed a little contrast and a little less exposure and just a tad bit more saturation 
And then this is also pretty cool. You can add a little color tinge. Some people like to do that for their montages just because it does give kind of a cool effect. Um, I'm going to undo that though because we don't need it for a commentary. And I'll just hit done. And the most important tool for anybody doing anything like commentaries, stuff like that, is this one right here, the voiceover tool. Um, you're just going to click on that and you're going to click on your clip where you want it to start recording your voice. Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing a commentary over a free-for-all match I had in Call of Duty Classic. And so you can see there's my 6.2 seconds of voice and I'm just going to delete that. That was just an example. And so you've got the basic idea once you've got your final and you've got it set to one, you can go to share and you can export the movie, and it'll export it in a .mov file which can be used by almost anyone on any computer no matter the operating system you can go ahead and actually even export it to YouTube and do the title, the description, the tags and just everything like that it gives you, even gives me a warning that my video is longer than 10 minutes but I'll edit it down a bit because there's some boring parts because I have no idea where I'm at. I'm running in circles of parts. So that is some very, very useful stuff that I use all the time when I make my videos. Um, you can see some of the stuff I've been working on. But that should give you a general idea. And um, from there you can take things into After Effects. And I, uh, I hope this whole tutorial helped you. Um, let me know if you use any of this stuff and um, I want to see the kind of work you do and that's kind of a funny shot there because his gun's just floating in the air but um, just uh, good luck in your editing and let me know how it goes rate, comment, and please subscribe see you guys later